50 levy breaks. So a levy break can be something as big as like a six foot gap in a concrete levy, or it could be um, like a little bit of water kind of trickle through. So it's all different scales, but uh, right after Hurricane Katrina, they found, they flew over the city and they saw that 50 of the levees had broken or were breached. It was terrible. It was terrible. This place was like a third world country. There's no stores. There's no water. My two daughters, I got two daughters, 37 and 30. Both of them was pregnant at the time. So they just couldn't understand, Mama, why did this happen? Like them telling me all things happen for a reason. I lived in the Lower Night Ward. Okay. That was the most devastated place in the world. Recovered in the way like the rest of the city has. This was uh, the most costly store. This is the most costly natural disaster actually in all of the United States history, uh, taking a toll of about two hundred billion dollars. Worst, worst building in the world. That would be that's the worst building in the world to be homeless. I was lost, but I had somebody with me. I would take Jesus Savior. You are the ones who are taking action. You are here making a difference, forwarding progress. I'm Matt, um, I'm also on the framing team and like Ellen I went to college down here and um, I really want to be able to give back to the city that's given so much to me. I just really just don't like giving back to this community. There's so much work to be done out here. I'm really loving it. It's really great to be here and we're doing a lot to give back to the community. It's a very fulfilling, fulfilling job that we do. We've only been here for like four hours and it already is starting to look different so that's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool to see the change that's happening. <laughs> Others were abandoned because of Katrina and come back, just left kind of an eyesore and sad they don't clean them up. I'm grateful for this opportunity to come build these amazing houses and help the people who lost their homes 10 years ago in Katrina and have never been able to come back to their homes. like 
foot still for um, kind of like the bottom of the countertop. There's still thousands of families that have not returned home. We're 10 years, almost 10 years into a about a 20 year recovery. We believe that these families deserve their homes. They deserve to be back home. They don't deserve to be living in a home that was poorly built, rebuilt by a fraudulent contractor. I just want to thank God because you know, without him, nothing would be possible. And uh, the people were saving our project; they were so helpful, and it just was—it was a blessing the whole while. Uh, Regis High School from Colorado, Denver is here. Uh, there's, I'm pointing them out because they're the first group I ever volunteered with when I volunteered with the Saint Bernard Project. So shout out! <laughs> thank you for coming back again. And you guys have shared our story for a long time and helped us many years and we're really truly appreciative. Thank you, 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 you. <laughs> I want to thank all these Thank you, Johnny, my flow lady. <laughs>